Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast, I'm Wood Spoonie here. This is NBA on 2K Sports of 24, and we are back from the All Star break, and we are ready to get this thing on to the game. As right now, as you've all been noticing, that one of you fans had realized that this was a lot of fun here to watch here for the All-Star. And I can't even say that this was like a funnest matchup. I can't even say that this turned out to be a great night for all NBA associations here for the All-Star. I would like to thank the honors. This is like a best thing in the world here in Indiana. Yeah, Indianapolis is a fun one to buy. And I can't wait to have everybody coming back here for the next All-Star heading to the West Coast. Yeah, that's for totally right. Before Los Angeles happening here in 2026 of the All-Star game with the new arena of the Intuit Dome. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of the good contracts out there. They're going to bring the All-Star here back in LA by in Inglewood. Yeah, this might be a one change off that is going to be a fun one to see. Now for this next matchup, we see the Lakers, and they are playing against the Philadelphia 76ers here at Wells Fargo Center. Unfortunately, Joel Embiid is out. He has definitely got some issues here with the leg and this, with his injury, but he is trying to look this way if he can try to fight back and get back in the game to play with the team before the postseason. Yeah, it's really hard enough. Not going to be able to do what he does, but... It's going to be a hard one to try to strengthen it up. Since Le LeBron James is still in the game, as right now he's still on the court, they will have to see what they can carry on. As right now, here are the starting lineups for the Los Angeles Lakers. We have as D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, Reed Hachimura, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. And on the other side for the Sixers, we have as Tyrese Maxey, Buddy Hill, Nicholas Batum, Tobias Harris and Paul Reed. Time to get this thing show on a roll as I send you down to Philadelphia. The next commentators I have is Terry Crews along with Paintbrush and Boomer. We'll see you all later for the post game show and coming up with a guy, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith and Chabonier. Let the game begin. It's game 11. Let's get rolling. See you later folks. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And they are ready to break their approach bin to the locker room. The Lakers are ready to take its next opponent at Philly. Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews, and I'm here in Philadelphia at Wells Fargo Center. Tonight is the next matchup as the Lakers take on against the Sixers. I'm Terry Crews, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Paintbrush and Boomer, and a little force on the sideline. It's our amazing matches as we are ready to have the East vs. the West Coast team. Tyrese Maxey and D'Angelo Russell are the key matchups. LeBron James and Tobias Harris on point forward. Then it's Bree Hachimura. He's also along with Nicholas Batum. But he healed along with Austin Reeves. And Paul Reed on Anthony Davis. This is definitely going to be the best team in the world. I'm ready to see who's the next one going to be. Darvinham is a second season of the Los Angeles. is ready to bring things on with his next career on a major making. You know the hard thing about it? I had no other questions to concern. So we're ready and we're set. Let's get going. Here to courtesy, we're all fueled and ready to go. The start one, Anthony Davis on a slump head dunk down. What a pass off by D'Angelo Russell. And that wouldn't make the play out of him. That made me a lot of thinking about, wait, is that what Tyrese Massey hasn't seen because of D'Angelo Russell giving pass off to Davis and he makes a slam dunk down? That is crazy. Never seen like that before, but this was like, no way, man. Here's Batum on the outside, down to the corner shot clock. Here's Paul Reed, over by Davis. 
The step inbound, no good. First rebound comes in for Anthony Davis. And here's D'Angelo Russell. He goes for the step inbound, and he makes the drive. D'Angelo Russell with his first bucket. And that one has to be a lot of like a tormentable because D'Angelo Russell makes a finished cut. You know, the inboundable, I never see what he does. That, that's because he hasn't really been going over this at all time because they really need to keep on things going. Turning up in the loss against the Boston Celtics. This was not easy for them. And we all know it has been too hard for them to try to play them again and again. You know, not always today here, but I have no other concerns, but this may have been too hard for them. They have nowhere to go, and they, they really like are out, out, out of time now. They can't lose at all, and they, they're really trying to make a struggle out of it. He steps out of bounds as LA Lakers will have their possession. That will be their first turnover for Philadelphia. And Nick Nurse is on the other side, replacement by Doc Rivers. And speaking of Doc Rivers, he finally filed this contract out there. He made it on his breaking news appointment, and he now is with the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, another new season out there after the other cold old coach been Mike Budenholzer. He was fired already, and now he's been really wanting to make his new transcript that they were going to do for all. He now passed again to Reed. Maxi for the three. That first three-pointer can't hit the mark. As right now, Reed has his first rebound of the game. Now finds Tobias Harris with under eight seconds in a shot clock. Tyrese Maxi over Angel Russell, it's good. Tyrese Maxi with his first bucket. They have the team on board. It's a 4-2 game. Easy to save for Tyrese Maxi. He made his all-star appearance, so we're also seeing that one too. Maxi with his first rebound of the year, and now goes to Tobias Harris. And here's Batum. They finish the arc, and he didn't make it in time. You know, the hard thing about Nicholas Batum, after playing with the Clippers, he's been really going over it for a strong situation. Because Nicholas Batum hasn't really been discovering to, to go with the practices, he really has a lot of hard time to make his deception. That might be one thing. But however, they never really done it all. LeBron James finishes up with the reverse layup, and this will be his first bucket as Hachimura with the assist. Maxi finds again to Harris. Harris swings again to Maxi. He finds Batum in the corner. Batum swings again to Tobias Harris. Needs to look for another new situation here on offense. He gives it off to Paul Reed over Davis. Good team, for Davis. He's been going over this because Anthony Davis has been really like on pressuring it. This start kill is going to turn out to be the worst. Foul, bucket one for Hatchie Murray. Nicholas Batum with his first personal, and on his first bucket for Hatchie Murray. With the win against the LA Clippers, this hard field goal range is not turning to be easy enough for anybody. You know, the hard range of Ray Hatchie Murray, he's been really been going over his from his straight, strong strength. It may not be like him, but don't be uncomfortable. They have to be anybody that, had, that he wanted to be. And one free throw will be up for Hachimura with their first trip to the free throw line for the Lakers. And that one sends in. 11 and 2 is the score. 3.35 left to go as Maxi gets to Hill. Healed. He gets back to Maxi. Here's Tobias Harris for the triple arc. Rebound can't put in. Austin Reese has his first rebound. Watching him, and a shot. Oh, that was tricky, but he didn't see what he was doing. That way, he may have been a layup on there. I mean, what a hit. Here's Batum. Batum gets back to Harris. Maxi in the corner. Get back to Reed. Watching again, he now finds Heal. Heal with it now. Six on the shot clock. He finds Batum to finish the arc. And good, but Tim has his first bucket. 2.50 left to remain in the first quarter. It's a 13-4 score. They're trailing by nine. James. Screen on Hachimura. Harris watching him. And he's going to have been pushed in. Offensive foul's been called. LeBron James turns it over to the Sixer ball. That will be the first one to range out there because he know he was struggling a little bit. He should not be letting it go happening because if you're pushing, that's going to be a change off to the other way. And here's a new change off. 
Kyle Lowry has been making his way down here with his first game appearance after a trade-off from Miami Heat. But now he's ready to join in with the party crew. You know, I'm really happy now because Kyle Lowry, after playing with the Miami Heat, he's been finally been demanding and he really wants to be like playing with his team. So he can definitely do what he wants to, to play to make all this tribute and get right to it. Welcome to the team. And Spencer Tinwitty on the other hand, after trading in, in from the Spencer Tinwitty to the Mavericks, he wanted to be out, and he said, nope, I've got it all covered. I wanted to go out with, with the LA team. That might be the new replacement that they're looking for me. And all that said, no one, but there might be all for anybody that can try to keep on coming. And there's the first bucket for Kyle Lowry. He finally dug it down. What a make. Dinwiddie missed the three. Here's Kyle Lowry. Will decide to get to Maxi, and it's rejected by Riachi Mura. Harris back to Maxi. Christy on him. Kyle Lowry for three. Good range, and this one starts up for Lowry with five points, assisted by Maxi. You know, an easy thing about Maxi, he really got a good pressure to give it off to Lowry instead. But I'm thinking there are veterans that could be trying to go anybody else in between. Make him feel good. No foul call on a sixer, says now Malbama gives it again to Maxi. Back again to Bamba. Lowry on number three. Good off. And it doesn't go in the mark. That may be a hard thing. It's not going to be like a lot of free players. I mean, he may have some time, but he's not going to get well enough if he can try to like, keep on going. Free for Tim Whitty. That misses the other way. Movan Pama has his second rebound of the night, and he has two. Movan Pama now finds Maxi. He now again to Harris over now to Ubre Jr. 20 seconds to go in the first period. He finds Harris. Harris over it again to Maxi. Maxi on a finish drive, and reverse good. Tyrese Maxi with four points. It's now down to 10 seconds. You always make a finish up that one because of Tyrese Maxey. You make him feel like you, you're on a hot start. Make him feel good. Didn't wait for a buzz beater. And that misses the target. So the Sixers trail by four as Kyle Lowry has five. The first quarter starts off for the Lakers with a 15-11 score. Look like they're going to get it done out there. Might need to be going more. And there might be a chance. Guy Fong going. Second quarter coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, we're about to get this thing started for the second quarter. As you can say that Kyle Lowry and of course Mohan Bama, these are the two that are traded off here for the different teams. How does this really happen to be when they're looking for another new players to make the switch, guys? Well, in all that case is now for Kyle Lowry. After playing with the season, he now really wants to make a new change up anyway, because that might be another change into his opportunity appearances to play over his game. But now, they really wanted to do it, they really wanted to keep a thing going. And there might be one chance that can definitely try to change everything. Can you go for nothing? If you want to play on a run, you gotta make sure you make a switch. First point can't hit the mark from Elton. We're about to start the second quarter. As LeBron James has his with Dick Plus for two. And Christie is on with Dundee Mountain. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. He has the paint and rejected by Bamba. He has his first block of the game and now finds Batum. Fade the shot. Kelly Oubre Jr. on Anthony Davis. And paint on D'Angelo Russell. And all it goes with now is to be like the all mean it Cameron Payton. Speaking of him, he's definitely played some couple games before with Milwaukee Bucks, but now he's with the Sixers. Make it clear or not, there's one way that you can try to like keep on coming to make him go be clear and make it easy. Anthony Davis makes a slam dunk as Russell with the number six. That's two in a row. Oh, I'm gonna hit that mark up there. <laughs> gotta take alert. Income back it. There they come. Here's Batum on James. He gives it roll back to Obrey Jr. Over Tyree Prince. Another miss by Philadelphia Sixers. 
They're not shooting it up really well because they need to do some, a lot of techniques and offense. They need to change it to something different. They can't leave it alone. Three pointer makes in for Davis. We have a report from Allie LaForce. As right now, this one appears to be Kyle Lowry's everyday situation. May not be the one thing that it may be calling for, but after playing with the Miami Heat, he now wanted to make his new tribute to help out the other teams. And the new contracts has been calling for every player of this team. You know what happens, because this offense doesn't have it all. And not the way to say this, because Kyle Lowry, if he doesn't make it to the Sixers, then he's going to have to stay long with that one, and they're unable to contract him. And get Cameron Payne, that have to be only 22 points in this game. The appearance is not turning to be ever. How'd that happen? Well, and only that that will cause a problem for Cameron Payne, he might have to take another chance. He does it anyway. Free for Cameron Payne. That missed the outside of the arc, and now it goes back to Christie. Christie finds a pass to Davis. Bam, 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 on him. Watch again. Layup, good. Ebony Davis with another two. Timeout called by the Sixers with 4.18 to go. Well, they really have to start waking up that point because if they don't do it, then they're going to need to like try to fix something else. substitution note coming in as right now as Reed is checked back in for Roman Bamba. Christie's checked out as now coming back in Austin Reeds. Here's another one for Reed. Hasn't scored yet in each three quarters but now finds Payne and Reed decided to help him out. Here's Payne to finish the art drive good. Cameron Payne with his first bucket. You know what happens now because Cameron Payne does it on all. Might have to keep on living in dream. Here's Prince, give a pass back to James. Again to Reeves, Mellon on him. Back again to Davis, Reed on him. Back step for the two. Good D by Paul Reed. He has his fourth rebound. Now giving it over again to Heel. Here's Heel to finish it up, and that one goes down on the floor hard. Tari Brink with his first personal. And I'll be their first team foul for Los Angeles with 3.32 to go. You know, not always comfortable enough because Buddy Heald really has been pressuring himself because there's no other way that you're going to get it done in time. Buddy Heald at the free front line shooting two. Just about 3.32 left to go in the first half of the period. He knocks down the first free throw. And you can call for Buddy Heal after playing with the Indiana Pacers. This may have been a great disappearance, but his ultimate career turned to be with the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, flashback, here we go, baby. Because Buddy Heal has been playing with that one before his next trade in coming in, before some bonus, and now he's ready to take on with this Sixer team. Sixers trailing by five. And I do unsuccessful range. Here comes Melton on a fast break looking for Buddy Heal. Watching Tyree Prince. Payne with them all. Now he gives again to Reed. Back step right to Melton. Cameron Payne in the corner arc. Not enough to get there. Cameron Payne is not working on his three-pointer. He has to start doing something else differently. He can't let it get away. You don't want to make him stop and cruel to go back up with the bucket. And another two-pointer for Anthony Davis. Keep on lock. Here's Melton. Inside the arc. And good. Two makes it. D. Melton with his first bucket. Just about 2.40 to go. Whatever game it is necessary, you got to make sure you keep it living. Read up. Solid performance effort as Davis has it. Good T here. He would have called it with a no with the foul call, but this one, nowhere luck. Heal. Find again the ball read. He wanted to take his time to finish it up, and in he goes. Paul Reeve with his first bucket. It's a 26 23 game. They're all looking everywhere. Paul Reeve, where you got? 
Here's another one for D'Angelo Russell. Pass to James for three. It's good. The range outside puts in for the two point mark. As if for D'Angelo Russell with the assist. Two minutes remaining in this first half. Timeout called by Philly. And don't forget, we got a halftime show coming up. That's right now. We have Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and of course, Chad O'Neill. They're ready to see what's going on with the first half of this game. And this might be one of its best. So keep on watching it. And there might be one change that can do for everything. You know what I really like? Because they're really like a lot of biggest fans. They looks like the Flyers are ready to come back in. So they wanted to do all their best work. And the routine is the possible way to beat this. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. A woman that's buyers. Sour Patch Kids. And by Starry Lives. New substitutional coming on the court as Tobias Harris is checked back in with Kyle Lowry. As now Prince and LeBron James are checked out. Checking back in is Hayes and Hachimura. Here's Harris, the two. Layup, no good. Good stop by Hayes and he'll have his first rebound. You know the transition because it doesn't help. You know what happens because of Hayes? He got him pretty aggressive out there. He finally showed it up. It's nothing but you can't wake him down. Another slam dunk down for Reed Hachimura, and this one bench out scoring it by nine. There's no way you're never going to defend it yourself. I mean, you have to. You have the right ability to do the honors. Here's Peel back again to Maxi. Maxi gives to Peel. Kyle Lowry on the three point line rolls in and out. That would have been almost made in, but it was too strong to carry in. Here's Yanzo Russell. The shot stopped. Kyle Lowry with his first personal, and D'Angelo Russell will be at the free throw line shooting too. You know, it's kind of pretty hard up there because Kyle Lowry, he was trying to slap it, but it just went whipped because it just hit for the body first. This happened to me like that? No good at all, man. You know, you're never going to make it in there. You, you don't want to like try to like slap it out. That's what they don't do. They hate this call. They, they, they want to make the appearance. It's not going to be easy. First free throw set in for D'Angelo Russell. A minute and 13 left to go in the first half of the period. But the Sixers will be taking a break here and get ready for the second half. And he makes the second. Sixers trail by 11. Here's Harris with the ball finding Maxi. Maxi steps it out, finds Heald. Field again, trying to look for a new situation to make the step in playable. Looks again to heal. Over Hachimura, and a shot good for heal. He has his second bucket of the night. To have the drive, it's not really what they do for Buddy Heal, but keep on pushing. Yeah, the hard one is not really a uh, take, but let's make it count if he does. Austin Reeds finishes with the spin and the drive. Another two-pointer for the LA Lakers. And now he finds Maxi. He's this time he does the same thing, but he's fouled by Austin Reeves. Oh, he's gonna have to make the aggressive on that look. That pain is not gonna do anything. That's a hard one to go with the finish. Tyrese Maxi at the free throw line shooting two. And now there will be much more coming in to get right into this. You can hear this reaction right now, I and mean, then this is not what he does. And you know what happens, because if you don't do it right, you got to make sure you uh, keep it in there and get it, and get it done correctly. So that's what nobody can't, can't do. They can't let it foul. I mean, they have to stay on the mark here. I mean, this is like a hard one. They're putting the offense. No way, no way. Hits the first free throw for Tommy Smaxi. And now the new substitution coming in for the Lakers. Davis is checked out. As the new players check back in for Hayes, as Christie and Dinwiddie are checked back in. And 
is the second. Maxi with six points. Just down to 30 seconds. Hayes finds Christie. 25 seconds left in the first half of the period. Screen on Hayes. Good change off. He finds now to Dinwiddie. Six and a shot clock. Screen again. To the layup in. Good stop by Maxi. Maxi has the second rebound of the night. Now he wants to take his setup in. Kyle Lowry. Will he finish it off? And two put it in for Kyle Lowry with seven points. 34 29 is the score. Ends off the first count. This one's not that bad, but we'll see how they do when they come back in. And it's time now to check you out to Ali LaForce. Hey, Al. Nurse and coach, I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Well, we're not very good uh, offensively right now. I think we're taking some okay shots, but we got to be a little bit more patient and keep moving it around a little bit. Need multiple paint touches rather than just one. So we just got to do a little bit better job of getting off it. We know Katie's going to be a little bit. Patience is a virtue. Thank you, coach. All right, thanks, Allie. And, and that will do for the first half. Stay tuned. Second quote half is coming up after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He had 13 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 steal. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, being hard to the field. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? This kind of defense won't cut it. You have to get yourself in position to contest shots. This team is making the right moves and putting forth the effort. They've done neither, and the opponent is taking advantage. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. I'm about to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we're about to get this thing back in the game as you welcome you back at Wells Fargo Center. All in pressure is out to start things off for D'Angelo Russell to Anthony Davis. Two times in a row. He's been doing a lot harder than he has. You know, whenever it comes to Anthony Davis, he's been on the biggest guy in the center, and you're always going to play against each other. And I must say, you are definitely keeping it strong and mighty. You might have a full response to show him how the arc is. <laughs> definitely what Anthony Davis can't usually do. I mean, he's like a biggest defender. I mean, you can definitely take it out for sure. We start things off in the second half. Maxi is with the two. Paul Reed is in the center with Tobias Harris. And it's healed right here in the other spot, point spot. He's also along with Austin Reeves. And then he's with Reed Hachimura. Then LeBron James finds it over to Anthony Davis. And finally, D'Angelo Russell in a point guard position. Hachimura up the two. Kennedy to go as Maxi has his third. Here's Paul Reed. Will he finish the arc? No, that miss is over. Another miss by Philadelphia. And now back again to D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo looking it over. Step sack finds Hachimura. Number two. Up again. Good. Hachimura with a number two point bucket in. Looking to get 28 for this season. There's no way to make the exclusion out there because Rhea Hachimura had a good cut inbound. Got a good looking. Here's Batum, finds again a Harris. He now gives it over to Maxi. Maxi gives to Heel. Six on the shot clock. Racing in. Batum to go for three. It's good! Range outside in. Batum has seven points, but 5 three to go. Here, losing the gap in fast. Keep racing it. Get to the tie break mark. Just keep on pushing. Reese on Heel finds Hachimura on Batum. The two watching him. Now the screen comes in for Davis. But a two misses. And Batum has it. He now swings off to Harris. 
Batum got his first rebound of the night with five minutes going by. You know, an easier step in for Batum, you make it easier look. But this offense is never going to slow you down because when you play like that, just show your response. Here's Heald over Reeves. Cut and bounce. Ties his game for 36. He has six points. Already been showing a whoop whoop, flop flop, fizz fizz. That's what you do for Buddy Heald to finish they are. <laughs> My. Might be one day if you wanted to do it. <laughs> Not for me, actually, but I'll do it next time. And a number two puts it for Hachimura. They are back up in front. You know Rui Hachimura does that? He shoots better than anybody he does. Right over for the Eric players and for the uh, bench point lineups and the starters. They do your well right between to get to the legendary players. Here's Heald. Give again to Maxi. Maxi with the fly joy up in. It's good. Tyrese Maxi with eight. Back by 38 to tie that game. There look like there are going to be a show runs in between the East Coast and the West Coast. Keep eye on that. And oh, Anthony Davis! What a dog! And he faded the arc and he said, you know what? Take it. That's what D'Angelo Russell does. No way you're going to get that one excursion out of it. That's what you do? Slam it. Timeout call by Philadelphia Sixers. And there were just about 3.51 left to go in the third quarter. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Your local key dealers, a moment that inspires. And by Adidas. We have a next game coming up here as we are ready to see who the next matchups are. The Bucks will be playing against Chicago Bulls at United Center. Following along with the next game as we see the Pacers, they are playing at New Orleans to face against the Pelicans. Following the game 14 will be on its way for the Trail Blazers. Playing at San Antonio to face against the Spurs. And finally, the East Conference Showdown between the Celtics and the Heat at Boston. You know when this happens now? It is going very quick. And I'm thinking, they're way to do for anybody. Let's find out what goes in for the next one. Here's Cameron Payne, he starts things up. After a trade-off here from, from, from Tyrese Maxey. Here's Heal, gives it back again to Payne. Oubre Jr. with Bamba. And here's Bamba. Slam it up. Nice D. Good stop for Anthony Davis, and this one shows it no more. Prince. Rally around Oubre Jr. Good stop. Oubre Jr. with his fourth rebound of the night. Oh, he's been looking like he really wanted to get this one showdown. If he wants to stop, he has to do something like differently. He finds again a two shot. It's good. Oubre Jr. with the assist. But who knows? He never shows it how he does with the layup. All in drive is anything. Like, he made his honor. Just trying to keep on doing with his job. He now finding it over with a surveying on offense. While rebound, good stuff here for Bamba. He has his third rebound of the night, now given again to Gilt. And now Bamba is taking a three, and he makes it in! What a shot! He has their team up by three. Reporter for Ali LaForce says now LeBron James is one of a history of men here who played, played here for the single games in the four from the Miami Heat to the Cavaliers. And then, after that happened, he now went in to the Lakers side. You know, what happens to be a greater player in this offense, he's really like thinking of offense to defense. But he, however, with this greater players, he becomes to be the one of the greatest right now. The same thing that goes with Michael Jordan. He's ultimately playing this guy. He's been really dominating this. Getting it done. Oubre! It's the three! And he has his fifth four or five points of the game. Just two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Lakers call their timeout with only two or one to go in the third. They are really are stepping in right now. They wanted to show their support. Let me hear you. That's what you do to keep on going. 
new substitution coming in as Tyreen Franks will be checking in, along with Spencer Dinwiddie. Hayes is also checked in as also. And finally, we have is, yeah, is Christie. Here's Melton, gives it again to Oubre Jr. He now finds Bamba. Bamba give again to Lowry. Lowry want to make a new change up. He now gives Bamba again to Oubre Jr. This time with the screen. To cut him down. And that one puts it in for Oubre Jr. He has been like a, a prosip on the score. Make him feel like you are uncomfortable, but do what you can. And here's James. Slides it back with the two. A number one miss in for LA Lakers. There's no way that they can try to like leave it open. This offense can't let them slow down. You don't want to make it feel like a, that you're mistaken and, and keep on going. And now he gives again to Batum. Batum try to look for help. Here's Larry. Now finds Melton. Free on the shot clock for a shot. No good. Tyreen Prince with another rebound, and he now gives it over to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie again to James. James trying to step inbound, looking for some room. He wants to go up. The shot misses, and put back and back. That's a good start by Bamba. He is doing a lot of his strong defense, but his run doesn't stop here. Well, because Bamba's really like a, a big guy, almost like Joel Embiid, this would have been a race towards to get into the playoff spot. They really are looking to get another target range to have on site. And three, oh, James! Where did that come from? I don't know what he did, but that three-pointer misses. <laughs> he said, you know what, I'm going for it. How about that? Here's Larry. Up at the buzz beater, and it's off the rim. And the third quarter here, it's a 48-42 score. This one's going to be a great race, but they're doing this. They're coming back, they're showing their respect out of them. Don't let them keep on coming by. Three quarters have finished so far. We come down to the final quarter. We'll be right back with you after the break. From each messages on 2K Sports. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm glad now because they were really like getting that pressured in there. They're just really wanting to give that one a show off for inspection of this turn to be like that. Hope you all enjoyed this game, but this is now coming down to the final quarter of the game. Lakers ready to get this thing started. He's with D'Angelo Russell, as Hatchie Murray has it. Ben Anthony Davis, he's with Austin Reeves, and Christie with the ball. On defense, we have is Kyle Lowry. He's along with Tobias Harris. Mobama in the center, Tyrese Maxey with Oubre Jr. A number two point range is going to be a lot challenging to get there because if you don't do it right, that's going to be a hard feeling to get right to this. Reed with the ball, now finds Maxi. The free for Uber Jr. Again, he makes it in. That's number 10 for Uber Jr. 6 10 to go in the fourth quarter. The period is like a way off mark. You know what happens because they don't do their respection on them, they don't get enough easy. They have to do something else about it instead. So they can't really get, get away with the win. And if they get it, they're going to be a road off win to knock it out. Missed the two, and Davis will slam that dunk with two hands. It's a 51-46 game. They are trailing it by seven. You know, there's no offense to be here like it's every single day, but this is not what you do to try to like keep on like pushing it. The attackers is nowhere used. Don't let him keep it away from him. He now finds Tobias Harris. Harris up. Two's good. Tobias Harris with his first bucket for a long quarter, and now he finally has it. Well, he's been patient out there already, but he's doing really well playing his offense, so he didn't want to like try to mess it up at that point. He finds Davis. Read up. No good. Paul Reed is a sixth rebound of the night. 
We are nearing down five minutes. He gives it off to Larry. Larry swings again to Tyrese Maxey. Up and over head pass to Harris. Back steps. Now he swings it over again to Oubre Jr. Looking for trouble, and that one will be reached out of bounds, and this one turns it over. The last touch by Austin Reeves. As we look over into this game, we are keeping an eye on here to find out who's the next game. This matchup might be a one thing to turn things up, and we'll see what they can do for the next season of the game. They'll be ready to face on the Nets here at Brooklyn. Keep your eyes peeled. They'll be up here for more. And here's Reeves. He now finds Russell. And he went out of bounds. This time it goes to the LA to Lakers to the Sixer ball. Oh, there's a problem out there because he's running out of bounds. That turned to be like a quick turnover. Good call for the ref. He had that one signaled. Gotta deny that one out of here if you don't know how to play it correctly. Maxi has it now over to get to Oubre Jr. He finds Reed. And now to Heal. Heal swings back again to Reed. Good ball movement for the Sixers. Over Reed. Good team by Reed Hachimura. To put a stop on Tobias Harris. And now he finds D'Angelo Russell. Only the second half have to be hit. Just on a living. Yeah, the mark is like no way. And Reed Hachimura slams down. 53 to 48. D'Angelo Russell on a go. When you give off that pass, you make that one feel good. You just got to make sure you can keep on going with that pass over. This angle is not going to help it out because if you don't do it right, you're going to have to get it over this time down. Maxi finds a pass to Reed. He now gives it off to Heel. He'll try to go for more room. Another miss by Philadelphia Sixers. Oh, they're losing a pressure in there. Can't lose it out of here if you don't get it right. And Hachimura uses his hand to, to hit the ball and put it back back in. That's what happens now because Rui Hachimura, he's been definitely like trying to get his full rebound back. Here's Heal. He now finds Maxi. Over D'Angelo Russell. It's good. Tyrese Maxi with 10 points with 3.15 to go. Here's Reeves. Give some ball movements and give some more time. In the middle, that shot goes in. Austin Reeves with a number two pointer. Back down by three. This is a close game. Nobody wants to leave it out if they can definitely do it. Maxi finds again a hoop right junior. Bounce pass to Harris. Up with the shot. And good! The range in for Tobias Harris. He has his second bucket. 57 52 is the score. Timeout by the Lakers. And the fans are like killing it with a new substitution of, and of course, with the all-star of the player of Tyrese Maxi, Maxi the rookie, they are keeping it alive. You know this offense gets this thing done, and defense getting it pounded out. They really are gonna have to like try to like keep on pushing it. If we don't do it, they're gonna like win it all. And yeah, who who knows the figure? I mean, <laughs> well, it's one way that you're gonna like. Make the make the credit to the metal. Like, you may have to like do on your own. But it's on now. LA, Philly, what could go figure? That may be one time to, to make a chance if they wanted to like keep on coming down. If that's what they do, they don't get that one well enough easy. your New Balance player to game. It's Tyrese Maxi, The rookie guy, he can definitely do everybody with a great look because the rookie does have it up. Exactly true. You know, I really want that Kyle Lowry and Tyrese Maxi. I think they're both percentage of the uh, point guard positions turn to be like amazing. All for offense, can't do it all. Los 
Los Angeles trail by nine. Davis will have a number two pointer release. They're back down by three. After down by five, and now back down by three again. Here's Maxi. He gives it again to Batum. Batum gives to Harris. James on him. He wants to go back again to Reed. Reed swings again to Tyrese Maxi. Another two point range. That misses again. Good tee here by D'Angelo Russell. He now finds it again to Austin Reeves. And now he's up to do this one again. Healed on him now. Screen on James. Looks inbound. Up with the shot. Good stop by Reed. James with it now. Reed's for three. Tied up. Good. This one going back down by two, by one. As LeBron James with the assist. Oh, James can't just leave out alone. He's been really thinking his home team been really been crushing out, but can't let them live. Here's Reed. Find a pass. Back to Maxi. To finish the arc. It's good! Maxi with 12 points. Nearing the 90 second mark. And now back the air away it goes. Here's the Angelo Russell. Russell, trying to keep that out. The bounce pass to James. James, sidesteps it. Good D on the Bias Harris. Reeves with a, with a pump shot thing. And here's a shot. Again, no good for Austin Reeves. He couldn't tie this game. That's what happens when you don't shoot well enough. You have to keep practicing. The harder you do, don't want to get away with this. It's what nobody does to the point. And he's an offensive foul. And Buddy Heal has his first personal. And it turns over to the Lakers ball. Oh man, our referee's going to give that one a signal credit. Buddy Heal does not like it. And you know who else doesn't like it? Their head coach. Nick Nurse doesn't like it at all. Here's Russell. Back pal. And a two but No good. And Tobias Harris got a good team. Maxi has his fourth rebound of the night. Maxi tries to give off to Reed. Reed waits. Now finds Maxi. He gets to Harris. Now find Heal. Heal to get to Harris. Laying the clock wind down. Here's Maxi to finish the Narkey's foul. D'Angelo Russell. That's his first personal. With 21 seconds left, and a shot clock has been unplugged. There's no way that Tyrese Maxey would have known how to do for his better transition to go with the, the shot step. That has to be like a, a perfect angle to get that one done. And you know, he's been like a, like a heavy take. His offense tonight can be going for a next. It's the first free throw for Tyrese Maxey. You know, a great idea for Tyrese Maxey, he does. He's been like a rookie year of the night. Waiting for Joel Embiid, but hopefully his team will say, we dug it out. Took it over, and we rolled it. He is the second free throw. Last time out call by Los Angeles Lakers with 21 seconds. to take right now as uh, ben, ben the Franklin Dog has been like having the fun out of the night here at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. And we do have a post game underway. What do you guys think? Well, we're really happy enough to have it here. And I'm guessing that this one's great too. So it looks like we got a great uh, competitions in between the Ally and the Philadelphia Sixers. So we're ready to see how this one turns. We've got a post game show coming up after the game is finished and we'll stick you around for the next game. All right, thank you so much. And I say that this one is a fascinating view of Philly, and also in, in between to bring on in for the arena. All play, great players like Allen Iverson, Dr. Ewing, the Julius Irving, and definitely all for our barrel players like he does. Yeah. The greatest of the players all has to be in. And I think Joel Embiid, he might be in for the next one. Can't do for all for anything. Yep, <laughs> definitely can do. New substitution for the last one on the court.
He finds Russell for three, misses, and Dunk puts in for Emily Davis. There's no way they're not stopping this down because they really are looking into it. And there it is, another foul called on the Lakers. Austin Reeves with the second personal. Stop the clock at 15 seconds. Hits the first free throw. And he hits the second. Buddy Hill with eight points. Down to 15 seconds in our scheme clock. And now James rolls it in for three. Off the range. And a foul, last one calls on Anthony Davis for seven seconds. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Paul Reed. Hits off the first free throw. And he hits his second free throw. Clock winding down. James. Yachimura. With the shot. And he makes the shot. But that will end here with the game. 65 to 60 is our final score. And it all happens. And congratulations from Maxi to James. And to the players and head coaches. That's all the respects are now. We can't leave them off without and that's going to wrap it up, folks, with me, Terry Cruz, along with Alan Force, and with Pink Brush and Boomer, this has been a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, time turning it over to Son of Beast with Woodsbury. See you all again for the next part of the game. Now, take care, everyone. Terry, thank you. As this one has to be a comeback race in as for the Sixers with Kyle Lowry and Tari Maxey without Joel Embiid, they survived it. You know the find that happens? Because everybody does. They make a full rally comeback switch, they can do this thing again. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 47 field goals for the Los Angeles. 42 and 104, the Philadelphia Sixers with three pointers and free throws. Then it was Faust break points, points in paint, second chance points with 8, 44, and 12 for Los Angeles. Bench points and assists only have to be 24 and 20 for Philadelphia, but then offense got really got strong enough for 10 for Los Angeles. 22 defensive rebounds for Philadelphia Sixers. One steal for Los Angeles and Philadelphia. Two blocks remained on Sixers. Three turnovers for the Los Angeles with two points off. Two team fouls. That's going to be going over right here for the team fouls on the Philadelphia Sixers. Then it was 10 dunks for the Los Angeles Lakers. Then it was 11 for the biggest lead for the Lakers. And 16-12 for the time possession was for the Sixers. That is a lot of a great percentage here by Don their boss. Keep up fighting and go strong. Time for three star players of the game as I had Wood Spoonie. You take it here. All right, thank you very much. For your three star players of the game, we're going to start off with this one. This one is Tyrese Maxey with 14 points. New Balance player of the game with four rebounds, six assists, 509 field goal range, and a 29 performance run. He only had done great. Good communication here, good drive, and this one turns to be the best. For number two, we go to the Lakers with Rhi Hachimura with nine, 15 points. Two dots, 19 performance effort, 7 out of 9 field goal range, and only that, 2 assists and 5 rebounds. That has to be like a good string on a carry. And your number 1 pick, all that to be for everyone. The favorite of it goes for all. And yes, that can't be stopping in 
to keep on running it down. It's Alphene Divas with 21 points, 1 steal, 11 rebounds, 10 out of 15 field goal range, 1 3 pointer, and 21 performance with 6 dunks. He's been incredible here. A taller man in center can't lose it all. And thank you so much, there, with Spitty. Really appreciate it. Hey, any time, then, Mike. And that's going to do here for the game 11 of the Sixers and the Lakers. If you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and considering by subscribing it to below. And also, we've definitely got some medias on its way. So you can follow me on my media here on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Link to the about page. And stay tuned. We got our next game coming up the Bulls and the Bucks. A central division in between the range from Wisconsin to Illinois. That's going to be another great setup to do for a next game curriculum. With me and Wood Spoonie, I hope you all enjoyed this one, and we'll see you all again very soon in the next one. Peace out, folks, for a while as the MBI 2K24 dial on 2K Sports. Take care, folks, and have a great night. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye! If you don't... Somebody will.